Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer, and as promised, I'm going to show you this little chordal arrangement of On Green Dolphin Street. And, um, well, I'll play it first, and then I'll break it down and show you where we can use those little chordal uh, voicings that we've been discussing all along. Okay, so here's, uh, here's the song, and I'll play it you know, on, on the slow side. that's what it is. So uh, here's what I did at first. So the very first chord I'm using one of those chordal voicings. It's a C major and the melody is on top. Now at first I'm playing the melody unharmonized uh, and then going to the next chord which is an E flat 6-9. There's something interesting going on with the melody, and I would actually encourage you to learn the melody first without the chords, and, and then eventually put chords. So there's this descending quality to the song. So the melody starts here on the C note, and then it goes down to a B, but that is part of a minor triad. What we have here is an E minor triad, which is really still part of a C major chord. So, E minor try descending and then it goes to this chord so this is our E flat uh, 6 9 and then it goes down to an A so that A could be harmonized either as a D dominant or some kind of D major but uh, here we're, we're looking at the dominant chord and then here's another triad descending that's a D flat major try descending and then it resolves into the C chord. So you see that descending form. Even, even the A, and then A flat. Go the G. So we have this descending line. So I was harmonizing it like this. And just play the, the melody naked and then land on this chord. You can move your bass around. Here's a D9 and then the the other tried arpeggio again is without chord. And then I'm landing into some kind of C chord. So the C chord C, that's a nice sounding C chord. Um, then this little figure, um, I'm going up a fourth to F9, E minor 7, A dominant, targeting the, the D bass, so my figure. So I have this, basically this little figure that's uh, outlining the D minor 7. Here, this is G7, and then this is a D flat 9 with a 13th, but that's a substitution for the G dominant, um, which is the tritone sub, right? And they resolve into the C chord. And then the same exact figure will happen from F. So now I'm outlining my F minor, going to the B flat, so that's a 
five, just like we had with D minor to G. So here's E seven with a thirteenth and resolving into the, the E flat major. And then here I'm playing a diminished chord, which is um, an upper structure for a G seven flat nine. So back into my this, this is the second A. Now here's um, a little thing that I, I was mentioning that I, I, I heard Joe Pass do, even though I'm not doing it on the same string set necessarily, but I'm going like this. Um, so here's the C, and then I'm really thinking three notes. And then G, instead of going to this set, I'm staying here. And then E. Flat on top. See how all those are chordal voicings. Right? And then go down a half step. So for the D, now just for the sake of keeping that, that same shape, that same uh, chordal shape on top. So now I'm not thinking D dominant anymore, I'm thinking of D major 6 9. And then here's the A flat harmonized with that chordal voicing. Now I'm going to harmonize F. Harmonize D flat down here, and then I'm going up and I harmonize G. So I have um, from the A flat, and then I'm, I'm putting a, a, a C bass, right? Um, and then the, the final part, so I'm starting the same. But instead of going the same way, I actually. Is going this way to this D minor triad. So this D minor seven going to a D triad. And notice how I'm keeping the fingers close to the strings. My this finger stays on this string. Here's a diminished grip. This is an F uh, diminished. And here I'm moving to this little whole, whole tone figure and notice how I'm keeping these fingers parallel. See this first and third finger are here the same way. Uh, so again it was a, here's my D minor triad. That's another chordal voicing by the way, right? Turning into this F diminished here so that's targeting the A minor so that's an A minor 7 with a D on top so you could call it A minor 11 and you can kind of give it a little low A note then we wrap it up with so that's an A minor triad same same little business that we did on the D minor previously here's another diminished chord so this is a C diminished triad choose to go here, uh, you can bar this to that. Okay, so break it down uh, chord by chord, but really keep track of the melody. The, the melody is really the, the most important thing, so forget about the chords almost uh, as long as you try to bring up the melody. That's it. Bye.